Hello guys, thank you for attending Forest Econ course. I'm Wei, I'm your teaching assistant. Today we will discuss a very important question in forestry, that is, at what age do we need to harvest the trees? So it's a relatively complicated question because different people will give us different answers. For example, if you were a forester, you probably say that I will harvest the trees when the tree become bigger because harvesting the Big trees is more easier compared with harvesting the small trees. Yes, that's great. That's a good, good that's a good idea. But if you are your uh, environmentalist, you probably say that I plan to harvest the trees in one hundred years because harvesting trees later will protect our environment better. Yes, that's another great idea. But if, uh, but for example, I was I am an economist. The thing that I care most is the money. How much money I will could get from that trees. So when I answer these questions, I will say that I will harvest the trees when the trees could give me the maximum economic benefits. Yes, so this is the forest econ. So right now you just need to assume yourself as an economist and the only things you care care most is the money. So I know it's pretty hard for you, but if you really cannot do that, I suggest you to register another course named the Silver Counter taught by Dr. Jacobson, who definitely have the different opinions on optimal rotation age from mine. So, but right now, just uh, we are all the economists. Let's move on with the economic perspective. So, as I said before, as an economist, we, we really care about the economic benefits, how much economic benefit we could get from the trees. So in economics, how can we interpret the economic benefits or what is the professional term to interpret the economic benefits? Here, we usually use the profit. So what is a profit? The profit is uh, the differences is between the total revenue and the total cost. The definition also gives us the way to calculate the profit, which equals to the total revenue minus the total cost. So what is the total revenue? The total revenue is just the equals to the price of the tree times the quantity of the tree you plan to sell to the market. For, for example, you have 10 dragons of black, black cherry, so the quantity is equals to 10, and the price for the black cherry is $200 per dragon, so the price just equals to $200. So the total revenue is pretty easy, it's just equals to $200 times the 10, which equals to $2,000. So that is the total revenue. So what is the total cost? As we discussed in the previous class, the total cost usually involves three costs from plantation, from management, and also from the harvest. Suppose you need to pay for $100 for plantation, you need to pay for $200 for management and you need to pay for $300 for hard harvest. So the total cost is just equal to the $600. So right now we have the total revenue and the total cost. What is the profit? The profit based on this function is just equal to the total revenue $2,000 minus the total cost of $600. And the profit, net profit you will get is equals to $1,400. Okay, here we know how to calculate the profit. It's a relatively simple procedure, but our question is not to recognize the profit. Our question is to know what is the maximum profit and at what age or at what time can we get the maximum profit, right? So let's turn to another two questions. 
The first question is talk about the maximum profit. So, what is the maximum profit? From the economics, we usually define the maximum as a as a such kind of way. For example, from the year zero to year twenty, you could get the total profits equals to one thousand and four hundred. And from the same time period, which means from the year twenty to the year forty, you could also get the same profit equals to one thousand and four hundred. Here, the one thousand and four hundred we call it as the maximum profit. Why? Why is maximum? Because we from the from the economics we usually believe that the profit from the next period, which means the profit from the year twenty to year forty, is just uh, if is just equals to the profit you extracted from year zero to year ten. The difference between these two profit equals zero, which means that the opportunity cost the opportunity cost for this maximum profit is zero. That's why we usually call it as the maximum profit. Okay, so it's I know it's pretty complicated, but just to give you a very simple example. For example, you have three hours. So for these three hours, you could use the three hours to study. Okay, so you could also use the three hours to dating. Okay, if the dating and if the benefit you get from the dating. Equals the benefits you get from the study is equal. So these two benefits is equal, which means that this benefit we usually believe is as the maximum benefit, because the differences between these two benefit is equal to zero, right? But if the benefit you get from the dating is more than the benefit you get from the study, okay, the benefit you get from the study is now the maximum benefit, right? So. That's the differences. That's the differences. But you should remember that it clearly, you need to compare the maximum profit with the opportunity cost. We discussed in the in previous in previous courses very carefully because I do believe this point is pretty important, and I do believe it will show in your exam. And uh, okay, as based on we from the previous part, we have already know how to calculate the profit, right? The profit is just equals to the total revenue minus the total cost. Right now, let's let's make the total revenue become the dynamic term. The total revenue right now becomes the function of time, okay, minus the total cost. And this is the profit from the year from zero to twenty. We already recorded the t here, and for the year twenty to the year forty, the profit. Right now, it's also equals to plus one minus t seven. Okay, we could say that the total revenue right now is not the uh static term anymore, but the dynamic term. Why? Why? Because when you calculate the revenue, it usually goes up with time. Okay, so the revenue right now is the function of time, but the total cost is still the static term. Why? Because when you plant the trees, you usually follow the same method from no matter from the zero to twenty or from the twenty to forty. Therefore, you have the same cost here and also have the same cost from the twenty to forty. Therefore, we do not need to care too much about the total cost. We just need to delight it. So, how to calculate the maximum profit? We just need to use the total revenue from the period t equals to the total revenue from the period t plus one. Okay, this this total revenue we regard it as the maximum profit, but 
and the T may call this as the economically optimal rotation edge. Right now, we have already solved our two most important questions. What is the maximum profit and what is the optimal, economically optimal rotation age? So in this class, we have three points. The first point is that we know how to calculate the profit. Okay, the profit is just equal to the total revenue minus the total cost. And the total revenue is just equal to the time price of the trees times the quantity of the trees you plan to sell to the market. And the total cost, uh, we have already learned that in the previous courses, is it involves three parts. That is a cost from the harvest, from management, from plantation. Okay, the profit, profit is relatively easy to calculate. But our goal is to find out the maximum profit. In order to find out the maximum profit, we I introduce you a new term that is a, not a new term, but we have already heard it for a long time. That is, we think about the opportunity cost. So the maximum profit usually calculates as usually calculates by the opportunity cost, and the maximum means that the opportunity cost equals to zero. Okay, and based on the maximum profit, we introduce we reintroduce the profit function here and tell you what is the dynamic term of the total revenue and the dynamic term of total revenue and why the total cost is still the static. And we could say that based on the total revenue, the dynamic total revenue, we could calculate the economically optimal rotation age. Okay, this is today's cost content. We will introduce a more complicated uh, maximum profit and uh, economic opti op optimal rotation edge function in the next class. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you.